arrived at the location yet? Over. It's in the residential area. What over. exactly happened? Apparently a robbery in one of the houses. Request reinforcements if necessary. Got it. We're about to get to the location. Thursday, We're close. October 31st, We're just going to turn around. It looks like it's one of the last houses. I repeat, they can make use of the reinforcements if necessary. Over. It's there. Good evening. Good evening. Was the event here? Good evening. My door was open. I think the thief came in. Did you enter the house? When I arrived with my brother, I saw the door open and I called you and my boyfriend too. Uh, I got here as fast as I could. See anything out of the ordinary? Only the door open. Also the light was on. Understood. Let's go. Wait here, please. Sure. Sao Paulo. Boyfriend confess murder. Trial will begin next Monday. The girl who killed her parents. This is an artistic work with biographical content based on real facts, which takes the main source of information from the judicial authors in the case. In particular, the versions contained in the testimonies of the convicted criminals of the homicide themselves. Monday, June 17, 2006. Trial day. Four years after what happened.
Is this accusation true? Did these events take place? What was your participation? <clears throat> How did it happen? I come from a loving family. A very welcoming family. They always taught me to do the right thing. And they respected my opinions. My mother watched us all. Me, my father, my brother Chris, when he was living with us. She was a great housewife. The food that my little man of the house <laughs> likes the most. Thanks. Don't thank me. My father was a public servant. He always taught me to do the right That's thing and that it was important to work. Take care of the family. <laughs> oh! It's okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. And always respected my true passion. Arrow modeling. Three years before what happened. Hi, sorry to bother you. No problem. What can uh, I help you with? Are you Daniel? I sure am. And you, ma'am? Mauricia. Mauricia. And he is my son, Andreas, and he is crazy about model airplanes. He needs a little bit more experience to fly them, but I believe that a few mm -hmm. lessons could help. And will you on classes too? Oh, uh, her? <laughs> no, no, only my little one. All right, then come on in, let's get started. <sighs> Did no you hear? Worries. Come, go, come, go, come, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now keep it as straight as possible, okay? Right. A little bit higher. That's it. You're very skilled. Great. You're pretty good. You're, you know, you're doing very well. Is my mother yeah. watching? Yes, she is. Ah, excellent. That's good. And is she your sister? Uh, her? Yeah, hey, hey, wait. Look at the plane. Don't look at me. Oh, I'm sorry. Very good. But does she have a boyfriend or husband? Suzanne? No, she just studies. A total nerd. Ah, uh, the plane is accelerating. Very good, let's land it. Descend it slowly, 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 and, and yeah! Got it! <laughs> That's it! Good! Yeah! You did it! Good! We did it! <laughs> a future aero modeler, huh? Congratulations, you did Thank well. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, son? Are you nervous about this championship? Uh, I'm here thinking about the maneuvers. Yes, maneuver. Mm -hmm. You don't deceive me. Your face tells me there are more <laughs> things. So who was the girl that left you like this? Hmm? Uh, Mom, this time is different, really. She's a princess. And her brother is my student. Did I tell you? Uh... Mixing things is dangerous, isn't it, Daniel? No, no, it's the best part. <laughs> I invited her to the championship in Campinas, but her mom said no. I said my father could take us there safely, but she still said no. What can uh, I do? Well, uh, remain calm, huh? Calmly and listen. In the next class, just talk to her. I am so sure that the very lucky princess's mother will see that you are the prince she wants for her daughter. <laughs> yes? <laughs> okay, Mom, okay. I'll do what you say. Astro Gildo! Today, huh? I know that you will win that championship. <laughs> Daniel. That's right. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> you saw that? He's my son. Very good. Keep it good, up. Good, Daniel. Good. Keep it up. Woo! Yes, Daniel. Good, Daniel. Good. Come on, Daniel. State era modeling contest. He's my son. <laughs> it's a family skill. <laughs> <laughs> that boy wins in any condition, regardless of the weather, against any opponent. He's the best. He's number one. Yeah? <laughs> he did very well, didn't you? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you brought me luck. Everyone is watching. <laughs> We're not doing anything bad, right? <laughs> Can I hug the champion? <laughs> but of course, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, good job. Thanks a lot. I was just dying for you to come here to the house. Thanks. <laughs> ah, yeah. Do you want to eat cake or some pie? Oh, thank you, Ms. Nadia. I don't want to get fat. There's your reflection. Not at all. See? Lovely. And also very thin, of course. You should eat some. Don't call me Mrs. Do you call Astro Mr.? No, call me Astro. <laughs> Astro. <laughs> it's Astro. Okay, then. Nadia. <laughs> oh, a fork for uh, you. Mom, could you... Uh... Oh, it's Christian. Hello! It's Christian! <laughs> ah! The person you've been waiting oh, for is here! Look at the hour! Let us serve you a big hug! Join the hug! Hey, that's my wife, man. Hey, Dad. You better respect it. Brother! I was waiting for you hours Get ago. Get up, huh? man! Greet me! Here, though. <laughs> awesome. Hey, bro, so I heard. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I guess you must be the famous Suzanne. Mm-hmm. He's told me all about you. Hey, don't embarrass Course, me. Yeah. <laughs> what about the champ here? Your brother-in-law? Uh, yes, I, I think so. What's brother-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> Son, go bring a chair and have a seat so you can eat no, with us, Ma, okay? No, I already ate. I'm only staying for a little while. Oh. I gotta work early tomorrow. What job, son? Ah, oh, Ma, it's just a job. It's my thing. Please don't get into trouble. Mm. Why don't you sleep here tonight? Because it's too far from my job, Mom. Hey, why don't you live here with your parents? Oh, yeah? Because they're the best. Let's switch families then. I'll you give them to you. Eat a piece. Hmm? Eat. Yeah, sure. This girl is worth gold. <laughs> <laughs> this is all yours? Yeah. <laughs> and one day it will be yours. Don't worry. I'll teach you everything I know, okay? <laughs> Look how nice. Mm. <clears throat> May we? Am I interrupting? Hey, champ, <laughs> let's ride the bike. Yeah, let's go. You see the things I do for you, my brother? <laughs> hmm. What's this? For my favorite era model list. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know what it is. Amazing. You don't like it? Uh, I just didn't expect it. I always wanted to buy this watch. <laughs> I know. I saw you looking at it with love when we went shopping. It's for you. The best. Only the best. Calm down, Daniel. Calm down, Daniel. 
Daniel. Calm down. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, what's wrong? Come on, what's up, Sue? What's up? Uh, did I do something wrong or what? Is this your first time? But you told me you weren't a virgin. I'm not a virgin. You don't get it. You never will. Listen, I, I don't... Come here, forgive me. It's okay. That moment was really... Well, embarrassing for me. Seriously, shameful. But she said it was nothing that... That we shouldn't talk about that anymore. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Dad! I'm going now. Dad! Shh. Biru Biru is sensitive. Sorry. I'm here. All right. I'll take him home now. Hey, did somebody die? No, no, no. Let's talk later. Take care. Hey, be careful now. Yeah, Dad. Let's go. Bye. Mm. Biro Biro's happy in there. Yeah. Hey, is that watch new? Uh, yeah, Sue gave it to me, Dad. That's a surprise. Some gifts take some time to get used to. Dad, I don't think it's even much money for her. Do her parents already know that you two are together? <laughs> Do they actually know? Not yet. I don't know. Sue is a bit weird sometimes. Closed-minded. Women are like that. They're strange. Hard to understand. Huh. How about you ask your mother? The master. At least we understand each other. <laughs> I get it, Dad. Are you ready to stay like this? Like this how? In a cage. <laughs> <laughs> Andreas told me he wanted a new model airplane for Christmas. What if you tell your mom to go to my workshop, huh? She can choose a model I have. And what's more, she could meet my parents. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Why is it a risk? You know them. My parents are great. The problem is not with your parents. But your mother likes me, right, Sue? I'm the one with the problem. You're right. I already figured that. <laughs> are you serious? What? Really? Do you really think that, Daniel? Calm down. I'm just joking. Do you seriously think that? I'm only kidding. Only kidding? You're kidding now? No, because deep down you're the same as everyone. You just want to pressure me, leave me, and that's it. I'm not pressing you, Sue. I just said I better that... get out of here. Ibirapuera Aerodrome. You stay. I'll go alone. It's fresh. Very fresh. Here you go. It's already sweet. Uh, A toast? Uh, cheers. Thank you. Here's to our children. Your children are both lovely. I have never seen children so educated. I just hope they aren't bothering you. They've been coming almost daily. Not at all. <laughs> I adore them. Suzanne is such a wonderful girl. I always wanted to have a daughter so I could talk about girly things. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And Andreas is so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as Daniel. I think that he will also be a great aero modeling champion. Uh, yes, it's his favorite hobby. And does Daniel go to college? He uh, participates in many international championships and works for his money here at the workshop. Hmm. You know what it's like. Yes. Hey, guys, shall we get going? But it's too soon. Well, it's time to go. Oh, before I forget, uh, First payment for the plane. Oh, what's that, Mrs. Mauricia? <laughs> no, it's my Christmas present to him. Ah. Uh, that's very kind of you. 
Thank you. When will we fly it? This upcoming weekend. I can even take it over to your home personally, all right? Huh? I can also meet my friend's father. He speaks German all the time. I really want to meet that German. Excellent. <laughs> uh, hey, if uh, you and your husband want to go too, you're both invited. How about it? Sure. It would be a pleasure. <laughs> right, children? <laughs> Both families under the same roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you have arrived. I was already worried. No, no worries. Come in, there come was in. Such horrible uh, don't worry. Coffee was less than 10 You're minutes going ago. First. Oh, excellent. And it's not too far. It would be easier to come walking. Uh, come in, <laughs> Mrs. son. Mrs. Mauricia. Welcome home. What a very nice house. Huh? Danny. Yes. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> it's my plane. Holy hey, crap, it's incredible. Take care of that mouth, son. Leave the boy. He's happy. Well, you have to fly it now. Uh, perhaps before that, I can give my girlfriend a kiss, just like them two. What do you say? <laughs> Except? Uh, very well. Let's go inside now. Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, uh, Suzanne told me you're an artist using plastics. Oh. I wish I was. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no. I only give canvas painting classes at a school. Ah, right. Well, we do love art, don't we, Manfred? Uh, huh. Art. We love it, right? Every time we take a trip over to Europe, we go to all the exhibitions that are there. Last year, we had the opportunity to visit the Pergamon Museum in Berlin and the Samlungshack in Munich. They're so wonderful. I can imagine. <laughs> Manfred has to go see Daniel's workshop one of these days. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. At the first chance I get. Uh, next month is my birthday. Uh, Maybe we can have a party for that. Good call. <laughs> next month we won't be able because it's January, the first month of the year. It's because I'm the Secretariat of Roads, and as it's the first month of the year, there is more work and reports, and uh, yeah, sure. it's something very complicated. But... There will be another opportunity. Uh, yeah, of course. But if he can, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's time to go, I guess. Uh, let's go, honey. Let's go. No, 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 wait. Mm. Let's take a photo first. Uh, With the two families. Photo, daughter? Yeah, sit on the couch, daddy. You want me to help you? Yes. Only Where are you parents. Going? Um, scoot over. So they can sit next to us. Uh, you're good there. Perfect. <clears throat> Scoot a bit more. Come on. Oh, a bit yeah. more. Is that good? Smile, Dad. Your dad isn't as bad as you were telling me. I didn't even think he liked me. Germans know how to lie. Huh. No, 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 no. Don't touch that. No. Oh, why not? What's there? One of the presents for your birthday. Oh. <laughs> one of the? The most special one. You know that you are the most special, don't you, Sue? Don't close it. What? Why not? Because you can't. Much less when you're here with me. Very well. Yes, sir. Baron von Richthofen. <laughs> How's my German? I'm very classy. I'm very classy. <laughs> Want to come out? <laughs> oh. No! Wait, bro. What is that? <laughs> Who is that? Is this 
Huh? Let's see. No. You're missing it. <laughs> 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 I'm fast, right? You look very sexy, really. You think so? I knew they would look good on you. <laughs> Thank you. Psst. Sit here. What did you wish for? A wish when? When you blew out the candle and made a wish. What did you wish for? I, uh, I can't tell you that because, because then it won't happen. What's that? It's to relax. And to do anything we want. So you're gonna use that to relax? Mm-hmm. Doing it alone is no fun. <laughs> it's just today. It's only smoke. I promise I'll reward you. From what you are saying, that happened at the beginning of your romance. Can you even believe that? I mean, I took okay. it from right. <laughs> And on those trips, who would pay? I never wanted Suzanne to pay the bills, but 
She insisted, but I didn't want that. I've always worked. And I've always earned my money. I got independent very soon. It's very funny. <laughs> I want to eat. <laughs> Go. I'm hungry. Almost done, Mr. Manfred. Done, Dad. I'm done. Daughter, how many did you fail? A few. But you have to get them all right. Hey, hey, Manfred. Today is Sunday. I don't care if it is Sunday. Uh... The rules are the rules. You have to study. You have to study to be able to live in a house like this, to have comfort in life, to be able to rest. And if you don't study, then you will live in a hut without a job or being a slave. Is that what you want for your life? No. What's up with the food? I want to eat. That, that was very good. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> you have to move Hey, there. Suzanne. Suzanne. What time is he going back home? I'm going for more no, ice cream. No it's, okay. no, it's fine. He has to go home right Not yet. now. Now you make decisions for him too? It's You're done. Drunk. Ah. What morals you have, huh, Manfred? See that? Uh, she <laughs> She's said I'm drunk. She's in charge now. She's the new head of the family, not you anymore. <laughs> Close your mouth. You look like you're sick. Oh, that's right. Show him what you really are, you damn You want me to us. hurt you in front of, of him? Of course you only do you? deal with women, don't you? You're such an ass. <laughs> Doesn't he understand? It's time oh, to go. Oh, 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 what's going you on? You crazy? Get out. I wish you were dead. Dead. Both of you, dead. Ah! I was astonished. I never imagined that his behavior was like that. I knew him for a few, three months, but I had never seen something like that in him. Then things started getting worse. Suzanne started telling me she had problems and they always hit her because her parents drank a lot. She was a girl full of problems. Hey, Sue. Sure, I'll go, honey. Suzanne's mom didn't like that we saw each other so much or that we traveled. She said I only stood in the way of her studies. Then, having her leave her house in the middle of the week was practically impossible. That was when we started planning to see each other in secret, without her parents knowing anything. Come in now, fool. Quickly. Daniel? Close the door. My father thinks I'm studying right now. Uh, your mom? My mom went to the theater with a friend. We can leave then. You aren't invited. 
Hey, hey, let him come. My brother will go too. They can play, you know? Fine, it's fine. We'll go out when my mom comes back. Now go to your room, okay? Yeah. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Why are you awake? I'm finishing studying this. Good. Good night. Bye. Get out. Get out now. Yeah. Oh, it's wrong. Oh. Andreas. <laughs> oh, not okay, yet. time to go. What's up? Take this. Come quick. Are you crazy? Hey, how about we let Andreas play cards with my brother? We'll be huh? in good hands. We'll be back for him in a few hours. We're gonna have fun. Come on. Then we headed to the motel with the fake IDs Suzanne got for us. Hey, my friend. <laughs> Andreas, my friend. How are you? What's, What's new? Up? What would you something. like? Bear? A beer? Huh? Have fun. Hey, Sue. Mm hmm. Can I, uh, ask you a question? Yes. Tell me. Why are you so defensive? <laughs> Can I ask or not? Can I avoid responding? Why, when it comes to sex, don't you like it when I, I mean... Oh when... no, Dan, what a dumb question. Why is it dumb? I haven't said anything. Everyone does it and you don't want to. I don't like it, okay? I feel weird. You get it? Is there a problem? No problem. That's not it. I, I just think you could, I don't uh, know, be a little more flexible. Nothing more. What? Wait, wait. Ah, congrats. You ruined my night. Are you satisfied? Damn it. Damn it. It's time. Let's go. Sorry, Sue. I didn't mean to bother you. You know what I wanted? I wanted it to be only you and me. For us to spend a moment without pressuring each other. I doubt my parents will let me. Sometimes I think it would be a lot easier if they disappeared. What are you saying? Imagine, Dan, we would be free, no orders, with time for everything, no rushing, no pressure. <sighs> Imagining is not a crime. And they don't have to know, Dan. They don't have to know. 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 They don't have to. Hey, Sue. Damn it, Daniel. Damn it. It can't Sue, be. Sue, what happened? Listen Wait, talk to me. to me. Come to my house right now. Hurry, Daniel. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, I'll be there soon. I'm down. going right now. So? What happened? Are you okay? Lower your voice. I don't want you to wake them. My mom came to my karate class and discovered everything. It can't be, yes, Sue. Yes, she took me out of the class. The worst thing is she forbid me from seeing you during the week. No, she can't do that. They don't leave me alone and they follow me and now they have my phone number. Sue, listen to me. We'll find a way. There's always a way. Not now, because this weekend I'm going to the beach with my mom. Say what? I don't want to, but I'm forced to. Yeah, but... What about me? 
There's only one way. You go in secret. Hey, Daniel. I'm so glad you're here, my friend. Hey, how are you? You took a while. Oh, my mother wanted to go to the pool with us in Flora. I had to stay for a while. Who is this Flora? Her old patient. They found each other again, and it's cute, isn't it? At least my mom has company, since Dad is so busy. I'm going to swim. Go. <laughs> my mother and this girl Flora look like teenagers. They won't stop hugging. What's this, Sue? Hmm? What do you have on your arm? Nothing. What do you mean? How's that nothing? Nothing important. Nothing important? My father grabbed me hard when he discovered the karate thing. But it was a fight, that's all. Does your mother think this is normal? My skin's sensitive. Sorry, but I don't think this is normal. Turn it on for me, yes? It's very windy. We are very stressed out. There. A panda! <laughs> <laughs> what an ugly panda. <laughs> so, do you like the inn? Ah, that's not bad. I say, this morning I had a problem with the shower, but it's not bad. It's what you can pay. Sure, but it's okay. Dan, 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 run, it's oh. my mom. Run, 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 oh. go! Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here, huh? We were just playing, and you? What's up with we you? We came to do some shopping. Let's go now. I want to have that wine. Wine is good, right? To relax. All right, go. I agree. Don't be late. Be careful, Bye, okay? Bye. Bye. Dan, come. Sorry. It's okay. Two years before what happened. That's your dad? Move now. Yeah, I'm going. Hurry, I'm going. That was my calm dad. Down. It's my dad. Right. Okay, no, calm go. down. Now, go. I am going. Damn it! Damn it! Ah. You did it on purpose. I'm sure of it. What, it was you're on crazy. purpose. You're crazy. I never. What, what would your father be doing at a motel? He's a bastard. Come on, Sue, we weren't sure. Maybe it was another similar car, right? Don't say that nonsense. My father always speaks poorly of you, and now you defend him. I know he sleeps with prostitutes when he leaves work. I saw it on his computer. Did you tell your mother? Do you think she doesn't know? It's your free pass, Dan. So you can fornicate with your friend. She thinks nobody knows. That damn family. Listen, I can't affirm that that happened. But she told me Mauricia had an affair with another woman, that she's a bisexual. Uh. Order in the court, please. Order. And that Manfred also had a lover. Suzanne knew about it. However, I can't confirm if that really happened. But I did coexist with her. For me, seeing each other only on weekends is terrible. What do you want me to do? The rules are the rules, period. 
What if we talk to them? Hmm? We can't keep seeing each other like this two days a week in secret. I'm not hiding you from them. I'm hiding them from you. But it's useless. It's useless, Dan. They say very, very bad things about you. They criticize you. Well, what could they say about me? I'm a normal person. I know, that's exactly why. They just want a Prince Charming for me. They say that you're poor, you're not educated, you have no future. Whenever they can, they tell me not to get involved. They say you're not the right man for me. They say you'll lead me directly to failure, Dan. That's what they say. They say that if I don't study, I'll be ignorant like you. Danny, I don't know what hey, happened. Calm down. It happens. This happened to me a thousand times, so don't the, worry about the, it. The broken wing means it's dead. Uh, it's okay. Seriously, I'll repair it. Don't worry. Calm down. Sit here. There. Take this hug. It's okay. I didn't know you were coming. I, I just wanted to surprise Andreas. Danny! I brought you this. Incredible! <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, is Sue home? She just came home from school and is focused on studying. She'll eat in her room. Uh, he could eat with us, right? Mom? <laughs> hmm. This is delicious, Mrs. Mauricia. Don't tell me, tell him. I don't cook. <laughs> it's okay, Danny. The environment here isn't the best there is. Dan? Why didn't anyone tell me to have lunch with you? Well, because you were studying. A useful day for useful people. Yeah, you're right, Manfred. I have had a job. That's why I've had almost no free time lately. Lots of work. Oh, well, that's great for you. Are you studying? I've thought about it, but for right now, I haven't had time, sir. Oh, now it's going to be easy. Next month, there will be time. What do you mean? Suzanne didn't tell you. She won't be here to stand in your way. No, I haven't told you yet. We're taking a trip to Europe. One month, Sue? It will go by fast, Dan. I couldn't do anything, nothing, nothing. It's on purpose, that's for sure. I promise that I-, I... You don't have to promise anything, Sue. It doesn't seem fair. I feel like the biggest idiot ever. My love. You are the cutest man in the world. Can I at least take you to the airport? I don't think you should. Wait for me. The trip was very difficult for me. Suzanne's parents always punished her, using what she loved the most. We couldn't see each other. Good. It's ready. <laughs> Congratulations. Wait. Can you help? Thanks. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Hello, Sue. Sue. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sue. Hello, Sue. Sue, I.
Dan. Mom said that, hey, Chris, uh... don't ask. Please. Brother, you can't stay like that, alone and depressed. Come on, man. Get up now. Let's go for a drink. Sorry, but I don't want to. Hey, you're crazy, Dan. At least do it for me. Huh? I don't like you sad. Look at this. Oh, thick fast. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's my brother. I really missed you too. This is to close with a flourish. Thanks. In just a moment. Sit here. I want to know everything. How did it go on the trip? Hmm? Can't be. You're going to smoke that thing again. Come on, tell me. How was your trip? Horrible. It was horrible. In every place I went, I thought you could be with me, thinking about your feelings, the things we were going to do. I would prefer a thousand times, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand times to be with you. Without them. I wonder what your father must have thought when you purchased all these presents for me. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's more concerned about other things than about me. I even enrolled in a preschool class. Hey, how so, Sue? Does that mean I'll see you even ah, less? Ah, Dan, what do you want from me? Leave it. Look, what can I do? I'll tell you what to do. I'll talk to him. And in German, listen to me well. I love your daughter. Why don't you want me to see her, huh? What is your problem, huh? <laughs> Do you think he'll really accept? No, I'm gonna talk to him anyway. He can't stop me from seeing you, huh? I like Sue, and I love Sue. <laughs> it's because I'm poor, isn't it? Hi. Well, this is what this poor guy will do. Look. Ba, ba, ba. He died? She always told me that she was thinking and planning the death of her parents. That I didn't understand why she hated them so much. I thought it was just something she said. But I mean, what teen doesn't have problems with their parents? Mama's been after me for a few days now, man. He the she wants to know my every move. So I don't have a choice. I'm making a lot of money. No, and mom's already concerned. No. Nah. Do I don't know. You could also talk to her about that, brother. Mm -hmm. Look, and then maybe we can get something else you're a good, good man. Country. I know that. Hmm? Yeah. Not great, no, but it's not bad. I told you. Yeah, no, it's Daniel! Bad. You're someplace else! Are you much too young to be suffering like this, man? I can't stand it anymore, Chris. Manfred is obsessed with taking Sue to San Francisco. She's afraid of him. Brother, I'm gonna encourage her to be a demon. To piss off her dad, that's what I'll do. Hey, 
I'm gonna hit you in the head, man. Look, nothing lasts forever. Neither good nor bad. You got it? Dan, if somebody hurts you, you just call me. You know you can count on me, man. Yeah? Wake up, man. Yeah? Hey, come too. <laughs> Think fast! <laughs> One year before what happened. Three, two, two one. one. I don't believe it. You won't have to use taxis anymore. If you went to San Francisco, the car would be more luxurious. Yes. This is what I wanted anyway. Oh, I yeah. want to go for a ride. Come on, Linda, come on. You could have studied a little more, no? What for? Well, for, I don't know, have air conditioning? This has it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Easy. Thank you very much, son. You're welcome, Mom. Oh, my child. Hi. Hi, my love. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go back to college? Mm -hmm. I just came to make a call. Are you missing class? Um, <laughs> so how much time do we have? Oh, class ends at 7.15. We have about three hours. Where do you want to go? Come. There's a lot of time. <laughs> uh, be careful, Goodbye. you two, okay? Hey, don't okay? worry, Mom. Careful. So? Did you forget to hide the car? It's only fast. <laughs> What is it, Sue? I hit you. Damn it! Oh, I always get nervous just listening to that music. Let me hear it, honey. A car bomb attack was the cause of 12 deaths. The event occurred north of the city, right at kilometer 39. Person responsible for such a terrible act is what? still Daniel. Who did this to you? It was my dad. Was that damn bastard? Dad. What happened to my girl? I can't stand it anymore, Nadia. I can't stand it. I ran away from home. I want to live here. I can't stand it. He said so many awful things. Ignore it, Sue. He forbade me from seeing you again. What's wrong, Sue? What's going on, Sue? Tell me, did he hit you? I have it all planned out. We'll use the weapon you have. Or we'll burn down the place with them inside. What are you saying? The employee will be the perfect culprit. I'm not a killer, neither are you. You have to save me from him. <laughs> you can't be serious enough now. Let's talk about it. The first time it happened, I was a little girl. I don't know. I thought it was something normal. What are you talking about? When my father drinks, <laughs> he comes in my room and forces me. <laughs> forces you to what? Forces you to what, Sue? Tell me! Forces me to... <laughs> Was what she told me. Every time her mother punished her for something, her father drank, went up to her room, and attacked her. He used that as a pretext to be able to run his hands over all her private parts. I didn't know how to handle the situation. 
and I couldn't control myself. I think I owe you an apology. I should have known it from the beginning, since when oh, we went Dan, to bed. Oh, Dan! Enough! 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 I don't want this! I don't want to talk about that! I don't want to. I told my parents what they wanted to hear. I told them that it's over. They even leave me alone now. They'll even spend a month in Europe. A month without them? You could even live in the house. I don't know, Sue. I wouldn't feel right returning to your parents' house after everything that's happened. Enough. That's enough. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Save it. me that you'll never never leave me alone of course I will protect you with my own life Would you do that for me? That's what I'm doing. I promise. I promise. She even told me that she'd kill her father a certain way. That she would use a weapon, a weapon he had stowed away in his bedroom. She wanted me to test that weapon inside her father's room. With everything closed, she would stay outside while I shot from the inside to see if it made a lot or a little noise, because the window of his room was noise suppressant, so no noise should be heard. Her intention was simply that. When her parents went to sleep, she would go in and then kill them with their gun. I got involved. I got involved in that situation with her. I trusted her, and of course, I did what she told me to. Imagine my parents' plane crashing. It would help us a lot. Then we would be in paradise. Think. Think about what I told you. When I made the decision, I still didn't think Suzanne had used me. But she used me. Used me and my brother. She said that if Chris helped, it would be faster. Listen to me. Enough You're like already. a brother to me. Let me go. You have to help me. Sue, please help me. Enough. Please, enough. Please help me. Control her, Dad. You're the only one who can help us. All right. 
Dan. It would be easier if you help us, please. She's gone insane. No. She's gone insane. She's lost her mind. Huh? Chris, if you don't go, I'll still go. I have to protect Sue. No, brother. I won't do it. Look at me. Look at me. I want to break your head open. You're both insane. Damn it. Chris, I've always done everything for you, Chris. I was here when you needed me, but where are you right now? But that's different, brother. Are you crazy? Chris, please help me. Please. Sue. You're crazy. Listen to me well. You have a little time to decide. Sue, come. Dan, listen. Let's go. Come. I am your brother. If you don't help, forget I exist. No, no. Please You're a coward. Me, Chris. <laughs> the day of what happened. Pretend that nothing is happening. You must act natural. At that moment, I was completely lost. I stayed there trying to assimilate what was happening. My mother was at the library, reading some random thing. I couldn't get the blades, but if you cut here or there, it'll look the same. told me that she'd distract exactly. my parents with a computer right. program. That way she could go through the living room and get in their car. Like here? Andrea sent me a message saying that his parents have already gone to sleep. So I went to go get her. Like it or not, I just want you to help me. Damn it, Chris. I've always supported you, damn it. So will you help us? I'm going. I'll wait for you there. Daniel. I won't leave you. You have to do it. It's time. Come on, let's go. Hurry. Let's go. Andreas! going to the motel. I'll be back at about three or just after three. I'll update you, yes? Go play. Go play. Go play. Go play. Brother, don't do it. You can't. Listen to me, Chris. You have to understand. Calm down. Calm down. Calm Please, down. Chris. Listen. I Look. can't live like this, Chris. You have to do it. Brother. Please don't do it. The you truth is, I pressured him until he agreed to help. He had to be with me. Let's go. Who was driving the car? Who was in charge? She was. What? what? The truth is, I thought I wouldn't make it. This guy's a liar. When we arrive, I'll get down first, yes? I'll check if they're sleeping and... Then I'll give you the signal. No, 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 no. It'll I don't want to do it anymore. 
Calm down. down. No, I don't want to do it. Stop Calm the car. Down. Stop. We'll be getting fine. out here. Stop. I'm out. Just stop the damn car. I'm get, get out. Get out now. The next thing I know, we're about to arrive. Please think about this. We're almost there. Get down. We're almost there. We're almost there. So much excitement in this game. I mean, just look at them moving the ball down the field. Incredible. We'll ruin our lives. You yeah, understand that, right? We don't have to do this. You're crazy. <laughs> Be quiet, okay? Ah, the pantyhose. And the gloves. I'll see if they're asleep. I'll be back. Don't you understand? His mouth quick. she tells a totally different story than I do. I know she says horrible things about me. About my family. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm sure. I, I'm 
I don't know how I let her manipulate me. Did you finish? Defendants Suzanne Louise von Richthofen and Daniel Carvinos de Paula and Silva were sentenced to 39 years in prison and six months in detention. The defendant Christian Carvinos de Paula and Silva was sentenced to 38 years in prison and six months in detention. Another version of the story available, the boy who killed my parents. My name is Suzanne Louise von Richthofen. I want to tell the story of my life. At that moment, I thought he wanted to kill my parents for love. Oh, what? But today I know it's about what money can give.
Understanding the psychological dynamics involved in this crime of exceptional public repercussion, as well as its judgment, does not justify it, but it is essential to know aspects of human nature and society itself.